Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do a couple of things. I would share with you the items that I picked up from the Maccas Beauty Collection. Uh, I picked up just a few things. Um, I picked up one other Mac item that's not from Maccas Beauty and uh, I thought I would share with you the two items I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale and I would do a quick what my first impressions of them are after using them. So let's jump right in and get started. Uh, first let's go over the MAC items. First I'll talk about the one item I picked up that was not part of MAC is Beauty. Um, and I talked about wanting to pick this up and it's another one of the casual color uh, cream products which are for blush and lips but I use them for cream blushes. Um, I wasn't planning on filming today so I didn't wear this but um, this is the color Have a Lovely Day which is sort of the nude pink color that I wanted to pick up. Today I'm wearing Red Obsessed again. These blushes, these casual color blushes, I love them. This is pretty much all I wear now. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is just a pink nude color. It does look a little deeper in the pan than it, it, it is. Um, it's beautiful on the skin. Um, I'm going to do a heavy swatch, but it's really just a pink nude color. Beautiful for every day. I mean it'll go with just about everything. I love this. So these products, again I'll say it, if you are looking for a cream to powder blush, not the product you're looking for. For me though, I love the way these go on and stay dewy. They keep that dewy look on my skin all day. Um, and they last all day, they wear all day. So this Red Obsessed has a little bit more of a sheen to it. This is much more of a cream looking product. But they stay on my skin all day. When I go to take my makeup off, my blush is still there. So I love them. And the price point is pretty good. I think $21 or $22. Um, and a lot of people asked how I apply these. I prefer with a cream product not to put it on with my fingers. I know that you can, but I think for blushes specifically, they move your foundation around too much when you apply them with your fingers. So I prefer using a synthetic brush. My favorite one is the Makeup Forever 152. And one of the reasons I love this is the shape of the brush. So you can just use the side of it and it's not too big. Um, it's dense enough to pick up product and press it on, but not too dense. You could use a stippling brush or anything for this, but I just um, press the brush into the product and put the product where I want it. And you can go back and layer if you want a little more color, but don't buff. I don't buff when I put these cream products on. I just go into them and then pounce them on the skin where I want them. If you buff them, again, they tend to move around your foundation and that kind of thing, but I really, these casual color blushes, they're just called casual color products, right? Casual color lip and cheek color. I love them. I have the three colors I need now and I feel really, right now I'm not wearing any other blush. I just use the three of these that I have. Love it. That's why I wanted to get this one because it's just a really pretty pink nude. Again, I'm not wearing it today, but I love it. Okay, let's talk about what I got from the MAC is Beauty Collection. Just a couple of lip products really. And I did pick up one of the brushes because I wanted to try and see if, you know, the sort of thought behind the brush was a good one. So here's what the brush looks like. It's for doing liner and it's really sort of a unique shape. So one of the reasons I bought this was to see if for some of my clients it would help them do doing eyeliner if you struggle with liner because you can press this into the product and the way it's shaped you can just press it on your lid and it will make it'll just press on your shadow right into the lash line which you could do with a smaller angled brush but this one does work really well I am a liner or, or a shadow girl so I like to use eyeshadow for liner when I'm using liner on my upper lash line and this works beautifully it picks up a good amount of shadow and just presses it right in and then I thought this see how it kind of goes up would be good for you know if you got the right angle it will really make a nice flick so if you have a nice shaped eye you can just use it as the flick because of my hood and I have a slightly downturned eye I have to turn the brush a little bit to get the flick at the right angle um, so I don't think it's perfect for that but I do think the shape of the brush makes it fit the eye very nicely like even in this corner this this tip will get into that corner for you 
So I like it. It's not soft. It's very firm, you know, for pressing liner in. And I haven't tried it with like a gel liner, but I do, I do like it for shadow liners when I wear them um, for using eyeshadow as a liner. So if you struggle, this is for people really, in my opinion, who struggle with getting their liner on. This really makes it easy. That's who it's for, in my opinion. Okay, and then I just picked up a couple of lip products. Uh, the first one is, uh, they're both lusters. Uh, the two lipsticks I got are both lusters. The first one is in Real Redhead. And again, I'm not wearing this today because I wasn't planning on filming, but I love this color. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. Uh, again, it's called Real Redhead, and it's just a peachy nude. Uh, good for summer. Um, so there it is. Again, these are lusters, so they're a fa fairly sheer product. Um, a lot of people don't like the lusters. I do. Um, but you do have to build them up a little to get the color. I like that they're a sheer product. I like that they're glossy looking. Um, but again, especially this one, because it's a very light color, you're going to have to add a few layers to get some color. But I love that it's, it's just like a beautiful peachy nude. And then I picked up Call the Hairdresser, which has a little more color to it. Um, but again, it's in that coral family. Um, again, that's Call the Hairdresser. I really like this one too. And it is a lot more color, but because it's um, sheer, it's very wearable. And this is really gonna be great for summertime as well. And I have worn it a few times already. I really like it. But again, these are the Luster lipsticks from MAC, and not everybody appreciates the Luster formula. So if you don't like a sheer, lightweight formula, you're not going to like these. And I will say, I almost think these are slightly different formula than the other, the regular Lusters, and that they're even slightly maybe more sheer. So love that. Again, that's called Call the Hairdresser. There are a lot of shades that came out with the lipstick shades that came out with this collection. And then I also picked up one of the Cream Sheen Glass Lip Glosses. And this is called On The Scene, and it's just a peachy nude. The, so the Cream Sheen Glasses, to me, are not nearly as sticky. Um, so if you like don't like the lip glasses or whatever, these aren't nearly as sticky. And this one does have a lot of pigment to it. So there it is right there. It's just a nice peachy nude. <laughs> which is my sort of my thing so uh, this is right up my alley this is great with you know just a little bit of a natural or nude liner on underneath it and then this uh, gloss I like a gloss I like that glossy look to my lips and that feel so I really enjoy these so that's what I got from MAC uh, is that it yeah that's what I got from MAC and then uh, my two items that I ordered from the Sephora VIB sale came in. I've only ordered two so far. And I thought I would talk about them quickly. I talked about what I was going to get, and that's what I picked up. So I picked up the Murad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30, which is just a clear SPF 30, but it works really well as a primer. I think that's the, it treats, blurs, and protects. So it's sort of uh, very silicone-y. It goes on and... Uh, just smooths the skin. Um, and then the other thing I picked up was the Cover Effects Custom Color Drops. And I got N30, which, like I said, is a little deep for me, but when you mix it with something, it's like the exact right color for me. So this is what I'm wearing today. One pump of this, four drops of this. And when I mixed them together, I thought this is going to be too dark. And I thought because before I was mixing the drops with like a white moisturizer or a white primer and this is clear so I thought maybe it wasn't going to work but it goes on like the perfect color for me so I really like it and because this is so silicone-y it smooths the skin beautifully like my skin feels so soft and looks so smooth it fills in the pores smooths all like the fine lines I have around here because I get like little creases here because I do have some fine lines these two together are really, really great. For the summer with this SPF 30 and this mixed in, I think they're really great. Now, I will say this product has a scent to it. Um, I thought first, I looked at the ingredients, there is fragrance in it. I don't feel like it's a fragrance I'm smelling. I feel like maybe it's uh, the chemical sunscreen in it. But there is a scent there, so if you are extremely scent sensitive, 
this might not be a good product for you. Um, the scent is there, it's fairly strong, and I still smell it. So, I don't know if it's the chemical sunscreen or the fragrance in the product. It's not irritating on my skin. I've used it a couple times. I, I didn't get any irritation, I didn't get any breakout, that kind of thing. But the scent is there. So, if you're scent sensitive, you might want to get a sample before you buy it. And then, these Cover Effects drops, while I love them, this is going to irritate me. This is going to be a messy product. So I've only used them a couple times. You can see how messy the top already is, and I've been very careful not to drip anything on that, you know, the rim or anything, but it just gets messy. So this is one of those products that's going to have a messy top, sort of like some of the Armani uh, concealers and stuff like that. Um, and then I, you know, I'm just going to have to put up with it because I really do love these. These are great for mixing with anything and, um, you know, adding more coverage, that kind of thing. I think, like, I used these, I added these to a foundation that I just love the finish of, but I wish it had a little more coverage, so I, I tried it with a couple of drops of this, and it just added coverage, but my, the finish of the foundation was still exactly the same, so... I think they're going to be, this is like a really great product. You can mix it with your moisturizer, make a BB cream just like that. You can um, lighten or darken a foundation with these drops. You can add more coverage to your favorite foundation if it doesn't have enough coverage. You just can't use these on their own. Um, and I will say, they seem expensive because they're $44 for a half an ounce. But, like I said, I used four drops today. That's all you use, two between two and four drops you use. So at that rate, you use so little of the product, I think this is gonna last a really, really long time. And I will say, when I've mixed this and with anything and worn it, the products haven't broken down during the day. They wear really well. Even the two of these wore really well all day. I was surprised, even when, when I did this, I typically have a very, like late in the day, my T-zone is very oily, especially right up here. Um, and it wasn't like that the two times I've used this. So, and my skin all day looked really super smooth. So if you're looking for something, you know, if you have mature skin or if you don't have, if, if you don't have perfect skin, I think you might want to try this product mixed with drops or even this product under a foundation. This is very, very smoothing, makes the skin look very, very smooth. So... I thought I would talk about these because they're a great combo and I know the VIB sale is still going on and I believe even if you're not a VIB if you're just a beauty insider with Sephora I believe the sale is going on for you too right now so you could get these at 15% off um, or if you wanted to wait for an Ulta coupon they do sell this product at Ulta and there might be a 20% Ulta coming up where you could get this at, at a little bit better deal and just pick these up at Sephora right now but this combo mmm I'm in love with how my skin looks. This is what I have on today. And the only other thing, I don't have any concealer on my face. I do have some under my eyes, but I didn't put I didn't need any concealer around this area or around my chin. Now it doesn't look perfect, but I'm okay with it just being nice and even and smooth and that kind of thing. And then I added just a hint of powder in my T-zone. That was it. So I'm really loving those. So that's it for today. This is what I came on to, to share with you. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, I'd love to know what some of you guys got in the Sephora VIB sale or if you picked up anything from the MAC is Beauty collection. I'm loving my lipsticks that I picked up at that collection from that collection. Just loving them. Um, so that's it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon.